Open the floodgates of heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Let it rain. Hallelujah. Woo. I just want to say, open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. I wish I had some help today. Open the floodgates of heaven. another praise. Oh, yes. praise Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. He's so wonderful. Yes, he is. Amen. And uh, there's a song that uh, you may be seated. There's a song that Brother Tony Roberts wrote. And uh, 
the words are so beautiful to the Lord and it says I just can't find the words I tried wonderful marvelous incredible too unbelievable inconceivable but these words just wouldn't do they all fell so short when I tried to convey the greatness of Jesus so I've just come to say I took down my dictionary and I searched it all through I did a lot of searching in some other books too but when my search was over I came right back around yeah. to what I knew from the beginning yeah. there was just no words to be found, to be found. That's it. Come on, brother. Amen. I just can't find the words to really express the greatness of Jesus so I must confess I've tried big words and little words but none that I've heard could describe him. I just can't find the words. That's it, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. That's it. Don't you love him this oh, morning? Lord, thank yes. you, Lord. Aren't you glad that you, he still you, answers Lord. prayer? Lord. Aren't you glad he's long suffering yes. with you sometimes? Yes. Yes. Aren't you glad he's merciful sometimes? Yes. Hallelujah to God. He's such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful God. Amen. 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 Let's praise Him one more time. Hallelujah. God, we thank Him. We praise Him. Hallelujah. We give Hallelujah. you glory. Hallelujah. 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 I think I sang this song for the last two Sundays, but I don't care. Uh, I'm going to preach about Jesus today, so I thought I'd like to sing about him this morning. Amen. You're the wonder of my childhood, the God of my youth.
Lord and Savior. Thank you, thank Lord. You, thank Jesus. you. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. You may be seated. My, the presence of the Lord is already in this place. And we're looking for what God is going to do today. My son, uh, who's been in the hospital and had surgery, and now he's in a nursing home rehab. Uh, talked to him a little while ago, and he's not feeling good. And uh, we want to send this program out to him today, Bubba Smith. And our prayers are with him. And uh, all of the people out there that are sick today, that are going through things in their life that they just don't know where to turn. This on. service is for you today. Amen. If you look like you've come to the end of your rope, you don't know what to do, this service is for you today. Come on, Amen. Because in just a little bit, I want to preach to you. Hallelujah. Look at for a way out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody's looking for a way out. Praise the Lord, everybody. Seems like this song right here comes to mind in more ways than one. Seems like the devil, we're not giving him any credit, but the devil is trying his best on all our young people. Ain't Pat said last week we wasn't any young, but we're all the young people this church has. But it seems like the devil is trying his best to work on all of us. Myself, Joy, Jess, Crystal, Baby. Some of us have all got something that's wrong. But we're not giving the devil any credit because we know the maker and he's going to take us and he's going to take control over everything in our life. So when it feels like we don't have anything or we can't go on, all we have to do is ride out our storm. Let's stand. 
hand and worship our King. Whoa, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Name, hallelujah. I would like to preach to you for the next few minutes from the subject looking for a way out. Everybody's looking for a way out. That's it. The drug addict is looking for a way to kick his head. The prisoner is looking for a way out of jail. The sick is looking for a way to be healed. Everybody seems like is looking for a way out. And for our text this morning, I want to take from the book of Hebrews the second chapter as I said I want to I want to preach to you today about Jesus thank God he's the he's the center of the world he's everything amen he's the high and lofty one he's the beautiful rose of Sharon he's the bright and morning star Oh, he's on, wonderful. Yes. He's counselor. Amen. He's the mighty God. The everlasting, the everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. And he's the Prince of Peace. He said, before Abraham was, I am. I am. I am. It, hallelujah, I am. hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. Yes, sir. Glory. The scripture says, how, how shall we escape? We need Everybody looking for an escape route. Everybody say, everybody's looking. Everybody. Everybody's looking for a way to escape. Yes. But the writer here, the Apostle Paul said, How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Now he's telling us, he's giving us the key. You cannot, you cannot make it out without him. Amen, that's it. Said which it first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. Yeah. God also now here, I, I got to thinking about this when I was studying and praying about this. God also bearing them witness. Uh -huh. Both sides. You see when you when you get something <coughs> from Him. That's it, come on. When you really get something from Him, God is going to bear witness. That's it, amen. There'll be a witness. Come on. Hallelujah. Isn't that awesome? Hallelujah. Bearing the witness both with signs and wonders. And with wonders. That's it. And with divers' miracles. And gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his, to his own, own word. That's it. Come on, amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah to God. And I got to thinking yesterday as I looked over my computer and I looked over this Facebook and I saw preachers uh, uh, that was bragging about being in uh, Baton Rouge for the... LSU Tiger game and said I'm going on uh, tomorrow today to see my Saints play and and I thought my God where is the signs uh, and the wonders anymore? Woo! That's it. Amen. Where's the miracles? And the reason my phone rings day and night from all over the world is not because I'm anything. It's not because I'm important. But it's because that they looking, people are looking today for someone to touch God for them. Hallelujah. Come on. They're looking for a way out. That's it. Amen. Come on. Looking for a way out. And I, I'm going to try to tell you that way out this morning. 
Amen. Uh, almost six years, 6,000 years ago, man began to look for a way out. And uh, there was no way, uh, there, was, there was no way, Sister Crystal, there was no way out. Even under the law, uh, they would just bring a sacrifice uh, and the priest would go in uh, to the Holy of Holies and offer this sacrifice, uh, amen, and uh, it would not forgive sins, uh, it would not be a way out, but it would just push them ahead for another year. That's it, amen. And then they had to come back again. That's it, come on. But the writer in the book of Acts in the fourth chapter said, Neither is there salvation in any other. He was talking about Jesus. Now, if you don't help me, it would probably take me an hour to do this. And right, then Jason will grumble because it's so long. And, uh, but uh, uh, he said, Neither is there salvation in any other. There's no other name. That's it, amen. That's it. Yes, sir. For there is none other name. Everybody shout, no other name. No other name. Come on, shout it again. No other name. No other name. Under heaven. Given by me. Given among men whereby we must be saved. You cannot be saved. You cannot find a way out outside of the name of Jesus Christ. That's it, amen. Come on. Yes, sir. Ooh. because the Lord was asking his disciples, who do men say that I am? And uh, some were saying, they say you're Moses, they say you're Elias and other apostles, but Jesus looked at the apostle Peter and he said, uh, but who do you say that I am? There was a reason in that. Amen. I said there was a reason he could ask one of the others, but he asked Peter. He said, who do you say that I am? And Peter said, thou art Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. Jesus said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. And he said, upon this rock, on this statement that you just made, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's it. Amen, brother. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. That's it. He gave it to the apostle Peter. <laughs> Hallelujah. He gave him the keys. He said, I'm going to give you the keys. And, and said, whatsoever that you loose on earth, it's going to be loosed on earth, in heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth, it's going to be bound in heaven. And it was so, it was so wonderful that on the day of Pentecost, uh, amen, when the Holy Ghost was poured out and, and uh, they began to speak with other tongues uh, as the Spirit gave them utterance, uh, the people began to say, amen, what, what can I do? I want to be saved. What can I do? That's it. Come on. Come on. If Pastor Peter had to step up again, come on. There could be a whole group of people standing outside that door. Yeah. And everybody wanting to get in. Yeah. But they nobody get in without the key. That's it. Right. Gotta have the key. That's it, amen. And and so when they began to cry, what must we do to be saved? The man that had the key. That's it. Ooh, the man that had the key. That's it. Amen. Amen. Yes, if you'll notice, uh, John didn't stand up and preach. Amen. Bartholomew didn't stand up and preach. Amen. Thomas didn't stand up and preach. Uh, Matthew didn't stand up and pe preach. But Peter stood up and said, repent, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for the remission of sins uh, and you shall receive the Holy Ghost uh, and he said for the promise uh, is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off even as many as our Lord shall call amen. Yeah. that's it amen Thank you. that's it wow. Wow. if you're gonna if you're gonna get find a way out not one time 
Not one time did you ever hear in the New Testament, well, or the old for that matter, but in the New Testament, not one time do you ever find that the preacher said, everybody that wants to be saved, come up and accept the Lord and shake my hand. Give me the right hand of fellowship. You don't find that there. Amen. And, and, and that's the reason today that people are going around and they feel like the world has let them down. They feel like that uh, they're failures. Uh, they feel like that they make resolutions uh, and they can't live up to them. You know why? It's because they fail to go to the place that's got the key. That's right. That's it. Amen. Yes, sir. Come on. Amen. Right. That was the beginning of the New Testament church. Yes, sir. Right Amen. there on the day of Pentecost. Amen. And uh, it hasn't changed. I said it hasn't changed. People are still receiving the Holy Ghost. Uh, speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gives the other. They're still being baptized. Uh, amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for the remission of their sins. Uh, there's still a church uh, in this world today. In this world of chaos. Uh, and murder. And sin. And rottenness. Amen. Could we praise him this morning? Oh, hallelujah to God. We thank you. We oh, could we praise him? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the name of Let's go to the book of Acts, the third chapter. The Bible said that Peter and John, two of the apostles, was going up to the temple to pray. The Lord really stirred me about this. Where's the signs? Where's the miracles? Where's the healings? There's more people. There's more people today on pain pills prescription pain pills than there ever has been before. Got to get to my medicine. They call it medicine, but it's dope. You know, got to have my fix. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something. If you'll find a man with the key, if you'll find a man with the key, Thank God he'll unlock all of your door of unhappiness uh, and heartache uh, and emptiness uh, and loneliness uh, and he'll fill you. God will fill you with his spirit. Hallelujah. Thank God he'll fill you today. That's it. Amen. Yes, sir, brother. There's still a church in this world. Amen. Everybody hadn't backslid. Everybody hadn't gone back to the world. God still got a church in the land. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's still people that worship God. There's still people that lift up their hands and glorify the name of Jesus. There's still people that are getting healed. Thank God of cancer and heart disease and every kind of disease. The blind are still having their eyes open. Hallelujah. And so Peter and John went up to pray. And there, at the temple, they met a man that was crippled. And he was laying there at the gate. And that gate was called Beautiful. Hallelujah. And uh, he began to, he saw Peter and John come in and he said, Oh, give me some money. I'm homeless. I'm hungry. You know, you can see the signs. They stand on the street corner. If you go to Memphis, every, every street corner nearly seems like they got signs out there. I'm hungry. I'm homeless. I don't have no job. And, and, and you can't help them all. And there's a lot of them that don't need help. But uh, uh, this man was looking for an alms. He wanted a handout. 
Amen. But you know, uh, I, I thought if, if more of us, instead of a handout, if we do like Peter did, he didn't give him a handout, he gave him a hand up. Hallelujah. The Bible said, he said, silver and gold we don't have, but such as I have, give I thee. And he took him by the hand. He didn't give him a hand down. He gave him a hand up. This world today, they need a hand up. That's it, amen. Yes, sir, brother. Yes. Amen, that's it. That's good. That's good. And what was so wonderful, he just simply said in the name of Jesus, Woo. Oh, in the name of Jesus, there's power. I said there's power. There's power. Amen. And he he stood up and walked. Woo. And he didn't just stop walking. The Bible said he started leaping and praising God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, have mercy. I feel him here so strong. How much time do I have, Jesus? Much as I need. And uh, Paul and Silas was preaching. Oh, hang with me here. I'm going to do something. Paul and Silas was preaching. And they was a, a witch. A fortune teller. Same thing. And she could have had tattoos. I don't know. You know the Bible teaches against marking your body. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So you're going to lot all you tattooed people. You're going to have trouble standing before God unless you repent of it. But uh, this woman followed him around. Everywhere they'd go to preach, she'd follow them. And she'd say, Woo! Woo! Y'all listen to this man of God. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. My musicians get tickled me preaching against these tattooed people. I see some of them out there, they tattooed from their nose to their toes. Amen. You'd think they belong to Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. That's it. But uh, she followed them around for days. Oh, you need to hear these people. Oh, you need to hear them. They're men of God. But the Bible said that Paul got weary of it. Oh, 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 he just got tired of it. And he turned around and he said, In the name of Jesus, you spirit of the devil, you come out of her. Oh, yeah. What is that? Yeah. And that spirit came out. And the guys that owned her, she'd been making them a good living. And they were so mad, they took Paul and Silas before the magistrates and accused them and they beat them with whips. Now I want you to know it wasn't like you do your kids today. You know? But they beat them with whips until the blood run out their back. And they cast them into prison. And they put them in the innermost prison. Put them in stocks to where they couldn't move, couldn't do anything. Oh, here they was, preaching the gospel. Oh, telling the good news about Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And, and here they ended up, they were sore, they was hurting, they were beaten with whips, they was hungry, this old stinking prison, and there they was. And if it had been like a lot of these folks today, they just said, Silas, God just let us down. Here we were trying to do good. God just let us down. Boy, when I hear that, do I go to town. But they, they, they could, Silas could have said, yeah, yeah, we just took the wrong course. But they didn't do that. There they was, beaten, blood running down their back, hurting. And listen, in that prison, listen what? I could hear it last night. 
so broke and I just uh, I had to actually pray for the Lord to send me a little money to make it through the month but when I get to my lowest 
when it looked like I didn't even have gas money to go nowhere if somebody called me to go pray for the sick I'd go to the post office and somebody would send me an offering say I just felt like you needed this I got the key this morning if you want to be happy if you want to be fulfilled if you want to get out of the world and get ready for heaven I've got the key for you he said repent every one of you and be baptized not in the title of Father, Son and the Holy Ghost but in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost Jesus said to his disciples he said I'm with you I'm walking here with you but he said I shall be in you a well of water springing up into everlasting life the spake he of the Holy Ghost Amen. That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. Amen. I've got the key. Wherever you are looking at this broadcast today, all over the world, we've got people all over the world that are looking at this. If you're at your lowest, if you don't know where to turn, if you don't know what to do, I've got the key. I've got the key today. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, learn of me, for I am meek and Oh, hallelujah. All over this audience in the world today, I want you to find the place. Oh. Some of you is looking for healing in your body. Some of you's got loved ones that need healing. Wherever you're looking at this today, I want you to get on your knees right now. All of them, while our people's coming today, I want you to get on your knees before God, and I want you to seek Him that turns the shadow of death into the morning sunlight. Come on, saints, let's pray today.